coming up on first and goals, two-time Super Bowl champion Jarvis Green brings his prestigious wine tasting gala back home to Louisiana. You'll also get a taste of the prestigious football tradition at LSU. And a few NFL stars weigh in on giving back to the community. That's next as first and goals starts now. Jarvis, we're finally here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and you know I've seen you battle in so many games at Foxborough. You know we're a far cry from New York City right now as well. Two-time Super Bowl champion, but this is where it all began for you. You know you you fought on the football fields in high school, you know middle school here in Louisiana, and then you won two Super Bowls after coming from LSU. So I mean, talk about the emotions to bring your foundation here to the beautiful city of Baton Rouge. You know what, Harry, just to bring the Jarvis Green Foundation back to Baton Rouge, you know, we've been doing events for years in Massachusetts, the New England area, and this is the first one, man. So I tell a lot of people, you know, support the cause. And I, I think right now, a lot of people don't really know what to expect. You know, because they see me say, hey man, don't be nervous, you're gonna be okay. I said, I've been doing this for years. This is like, you know, like, hey, like writing your ABCs, man. But just to come back, the tradition, LSU football, being a hometown boy from Donaldsonville, Louisiana, now back in Baton Rouge. This is my home once I retire. You know, we have friends like Ryan Clark over here. We have Randall Gay, you know, just to name a few guys, man. But tonight's gonna be a great event and I'm happy to be home. And when you started the foundation, I remember it was in New England, you know, almost like a half decade ago. And did you ever think you'd have the opportunity to bring it home? You're helping single working mothers mm -hmm. and to see superstars like Randall Gay and Kevin Falk come together. Deep down, you have to get emotional. I, I have to, man. I'm, you know, I, I never thought we'd be this forward to the foundation, but we've been growing uh, pretty fast, doing a lot of different events and just helping disadvantaged single working mothers. But I know that like in New England, all we have support are the players. And the same thing is going to be here, like you said, Kevin Falk, Randall Gay, but Waldemar, we have Michael Clayton, you know, we have Marcus Spears, you know, we have a lot of uh, former LSU players. Uh, we also have NFL, some NFL players that are going to be there supporting. So that love that I've been going through all these years, we're going to have the same thing in Baton Rouge. And what about LSU? I mean, we, we don't talk about that often, but what was that experience like for you? That was amazing, man. Playing in front of, you know, 95, 92,000 people, man. Just, you know, some, 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 just us, the, just the, the tradition from the, the week of the game to the end of the game, the kickoff, and just again to be back here, man, because a lot of people here are LSU fans. My neighbors, that's all we talk about. So hopefully to see everybody come back to the, uh, to the wine tasting and just have that, that LSU tradition going strong. Well, we're helping uh, disadvantaged single working mothers. You know, in the past you've helped Hurricane Katrina victims. Also now you have First Millennium Construction. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. This is my plan B, man. You know, that's what I'm doing. I went to school for engineering, did my internships in New England, and uh, it's real, you know. So when football's over with, this is it. This is the support. And uh, hey, check out JarvisGreen.com, you know, for more information about what the foundation does because I'm very serious about the things that we do and the women that we're helping. How unique is Jarvis? He's not like your normal NFL player no. with his foundation. No, let, let's start from the beginning, in which, and I, it's, it, it kind of makes sense to me while we're friends. You look at guys who not only had the uh, you know, athletic capability to make it to ascend to the highest level, you know, he's a, he graduated in engineering. I'm a double major, you know? So, like, he took his education seriously. He's a good family, twin brother, good people. And, and you know, getting drafted in the fourth round, it's not like, Oh, I'm gonna just take it easy. He, he's got an engineering degree, so he's doing the stuff in the off season. Where most guys, they don't put in that kind of work. They don't start thinking about continuing their career and or education. We made it to the pros. I'm good. And so, you know, it's great. And and these are the types of stories that more people should be cognizant of because 
this is the stuff that drives us, and this is the stuff that drives other kids to try to achieve what, what guys like Jarvis has, has, has achieved so far, you know, two Super Bowls. Not bad. Hey, what's going on? This is Jarvis Graham at Dinner Cola's Tiger Den. If you're an LSU fan, you come here to get your poetry, your furniture. This is where it's at. I'm here with my good friend, Dennis Dinner Cola. What you think about the place, Dennis? Oh, I think we have a one-of-a-kind place, all customized furniture. We specialize in seats that came out of the LSU football stadium, the old Alex box, and the assembly center. And uh, it's one-of-a-kind, it's all licensed by LSU, and nobody else has it. And Dennis, how many years you been in business? I've been in business 11 years here, but we also, uh, I've been in the poster business for over 40 years. 40 years, you know what, that's a lot of experience. Let's go check it out, Dennis. Let's go. Hey, right now I'm holding a wind bar. This is something that we touch before we go on the football field for every home game. It's, uh, it means a lot to me. It's LSU tradition, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, this is a replica of the 1958 crossbar that Jeff Boss actually took. He was the equipment manager for LSU for years. And uh, they take this, and they also have one in the suitcase that they take and travel with whenever they go to away games. A lot of people don't even know what this is because they don't have the honor like you going yeah. through the tunnel like that, That's touching it. it. These chairs are very special because the first time I sat one when I was getting recruited out of high school, you know, and I sat them a few times, and just to be a part of this, never thought that, hey, uh, I'm an LSU guy, you know, this is where my heart is, but just, just to have these cheers personally for me, that's the special thing about it, because you said they took, what, 10,000 cheers out? Yeah. They you know, and that's thousand. great, man, because I don't know if they happen around the country, but LSU, man, they did take care of their own, and we're family, and this is part of our tradition. I really enjoy being able to do, meet different players throughout the years, and having a part of the things that made them, you know, part of LSU too, and come back years later and get to sit in the same seats or, or do the same things, it's really neat to do. It's really a, a, an honor. Over the past 10 years that I've been in business, I've had all the different players, coaches, and radio personalities that came inside my locker, and I have over about 350, 400 names on these lockers. Hey, I'm on the locker of fame, finally, Super Bowl champion. Hey, I'm part of the crew. Dennis, thanks for the great tour. It's been an honor. We've been great friends for many years, and I will be back, definitely, man. Let's go have fun at the wine tasting and support the cause, and thanks again for helping the Jarvis Green Foundation. That means a lot to me, you know, coming from a place where everybody wants to give back. And, you know, being in the National Football League, you have an opportunity, you're blessed financially to be able to come back and give back to what you believe in and the causes you have are very close to you. And, you know, what Jarvis is doing is great. And then a lot of us young guys can look up to a guy like him and get into some of the things he's doing. A lot of football players don't have both parents in the home. But, you know, Jarvis is, Jarvis is doing a, um, it's a great foundation. I think I'm definitely going to support it in, in years to come. The Jarvis Green Foundation, sports legends join together for a good cause, helping single working mothers in disadvantaged situations. The next Jarvis Green Foundation event is this October at Grill 23 in Boston. Come support Jarvis and the cause. For more information, log on to JarvisGreen.com. You too can get back with the Jarvis Green Foundation. Hi, I'm Nathan Haas, the CEO and owner of First Millennium Construction. Alongside me today is my colleague, Jarvis Green, two-time Super Bowl champion, and my colleague, Jared Hosley, my son. It's been a pleasure to join you at this great state of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast region. For all of your needs and needs of the future, you can call us at 225-923-4639 or reach us at our website at www.firstmillenniumconstruction.com. Hello, this is Jarvis Green, two-time Super Bowl champion of the New England Patriots and your former LSU Tiger. When I want some furniture, I come here to Dinner Coles for my office furniture and my memorabilia. Dinner Coles Tiger Den is joining with JarvisGreen.com, Jarvis Green Foundation, and for more information, dial 751-COLA. Go Tigers!